for the community portion. Yeah, like, do you have any questions about uh, about the concept of Peru and uh, what uh, we are going to to develop? Uh, I think we have laid out plenty of the information in the white paper, but if you have some uh, questions, any questions actually about uh, that, uh, what will be the main purpose and uh, where are we going, uh, feel free to ask. Yeah, it's okay to ask now, or uh, we yes, should yes, write it absolutely, down. Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, uh, I got a couple of questions or suggestions, whatever you want to call it. I was wondering about the peer play uh, platform and um, how we could, uh, in some some way, compete with uh, BitTube. You, everybody, I think, knows what I'm talking about. Uh, yeah, you mean you mean the ProTube? And uh, how we compete with the BitTube? Uh, yeah, they have this uh, a great feature um, that someone can just import uh, from his YouTube channel all his videos. That uh, creates content very fast. Uh, YouTubers can just join and just import everything without doing anything else. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was uh, uh, I was thinking about uh, if it's if it would be something that could be added in the peer play platform. Yes, it's actually, even... it's actually already in the plan. And uh, if you check out uh, bigger latest uh, article, it's about uh, PeruTube, and uh, we have it mentioned there. Uh, this is one of one of the features uh, that we do want to implement. Uh, we cannot promise that this will be with the first release. You know, it's a, it's a big job, uh, yeah. but it is a part of the plan and it is indeed great for uh, bringing up content. Now, about your question on uh, how we uh, gonna compete with BitTube. Now, first uh, first of the things is uh, that we are running an all all-in-one platform for BitTube. Uh, this is uh, this is their main product and uh, this is the only product that uh, they will be working on. Uh, while for us, uh, PeruTube is uh, just a small piece of the pie. Uh, this doesn't mean that we, we won't be competing with them. We, we obviously will. Uh, but uh, we will have all these other features. And uh, this, I think, is a big plus because when you want to use something like this, it would be nice to uh, have in the same time the possibility to uh, buy and sell products and services uh, to be... Uh, able to communicate in uh, encrypted uh, messaging system and have uh, private uh, encrypted uh, file storage and things like this. So yeah. I think this is uh, this is one of uh, our uh, major uh, accomplishment ahead of uh, what uh, BitTube will be delivering. Okay, so you could also think about doing a, going a step further, probably, and uh, adding the possibility uh, to be, let's say, be able the community to be able to vote. Uh, so you could import uh, a whole YouTube channel without uh, being uh, the the owner of the of that channel. Well, the the problem with instant Instituting uh, governance, uh, this is as it was explained to us by uh, our legal team, especially with bringing, uh, you know, registering Pearl as a company, uh, introducing governance, therefore makes Pearl a security, which would exclude the va uh, basically everybody in the United States uh, and a couple other places. Oh, okay. uh, yeah, so introducing governance, Pearl, uh, it, right now, uh, with laws how they currently are, is just not a great idea for the yeah. simple fact, like I said, it would uh, since we're setting up uh, the company, it would turn Pearl in, into equity and yeah, into, yeah. A, in, into a security, or not equity, but into a security. So uh, it, it would be very uh, counterproductive at this direct junction. Now, if the laws actually freaking catch up with us, and that will not turn Pearl into a security, 
then obviously we will work on implementing uh, governance, you know, as soon as feasibly possible. But uh, until the laws kind of catch up with the technology, uh, our hands are a little bit tied on that. Yeah, got it, got it. I understand completely. Yeah. But uh, I should mention that uh, so far we have been using uh, our community really well, I think. And uh, just for information, the suggestion channel is uh, something that we actively uh, monitor. And uh, we have uh, been working on a lot of stuff that uh, have been proposed as suggestions and uh, seen uh, like uh, something interesting that many people from the community want. So we do still have uh, this in mind. Uh, we uh, document everything that's ever written there and uh, how much support it uh, got from other people. And it's uh, something that uh, we use uh, to actually be a community project because uh, we all have the feeling that we are, we are uh, thinking through stuff together and we are making them happen together. So. Any other questions, Copycat? Any other questions, anybody, really? <laughs> I, I'm, I'm okay. Uh, the, your, your, your insights were great. I don't have anything more to add or suggest. Thank you, man. Thank you for joining, too. I see there's a couple people typing. Don't just everybody wish that this two millionth block comes a bit faster? <laughs> We're gonna have to rent some hash power from NiceHash. Right? Regarding people that are not crypto heads. Can you hear me? Who, wait, yeah, I heard that. I just didn't know who was speaking. No, oh, it's uh, Rakul. Oh, yeah, 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 I can hear you. Yeah, um, uh, I'm thinking about, you know, it's the crypto market uh, right now is uh, it's for crypto heads like us. Have, uh, have the dev team to uh, thought about what can be done to implement stuff that actually are made for not crypto heads? Uh, yes, that's actually one of the things that, uh, uh, in fact, uh, Biga offers is more traditional media uh, outlets such as Wall Street Journal, uh, Time, New York Times, blah, 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 you know, all those kinds of public, Forbes, those kinds of publications. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the price for that was kind of high. Uh, as would be expected with mainstream media. So we wanted to test them out and, and try some more grassroots stuff first before we sank that much money into mainstream media. Uh, it's actually ironic you say that because of the simple fact that right now the market is actually perfect for regular people to get into for the simple fact that prices are low across the board right now. This is the time for people to be buying in. And of course, you know, we're not going to see the return of the non-crypto heads, as you put it, Rekul, uh, until, you know, we're well and fully entrenched in the next bull run and all the prices are shooting up. But that's just human nature. Yeah, but if you... If you look like at uh, one of the crap projects that's going now, uh, the Apollo crypto, you know, it's a uh, NXT copy or something. Okay. They're fucking selling like hell, and uh, and they're doing it in bear market, and that's they're only selling to uh, to non crypto heads. All the our all us are staying <laughs> away from that project because it's uh, it's a scam project, you know. Yeah. 
like and Bitcoin. still they are like 10 times, 20 times bigger than we are. Well, that's how it's always going to go. The scam projects are always going to be bigger. Yeah. How, but, how, but, however, they they don't lie. I I understand that, but you know, it's uh, it's what what I'm thinking about is uh, it's not the marketing as you were mentioning now. It's actually the, what do the devs do with wallets, all that kinds of stuff to make it n for not crypto people. Yeah, okay. Oh well. It's not actually. Sorry to intervene. Well, it's they're not actually uh, trying to to go to 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 reach non crypto heads. They're just scamming uh, old people uh, from their pensions. Uh, they're just, uh, as you said, exactly an exact copy of NXT. And there is actually yeah, yeah. A, a couple yeah, of season decision orders no, for in their head. Who yeah. cares about this project yeah. if they're 10 times better for the next no, yeah, 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 I understand. But the, uh, that's he, uh, Raku, Raku, sorry, sorry to interfere. I think that uh, he means uh, if we are going further to develop uh, ease of use for people that are not so familiar familiar with uh, crypto technology. Yeah, and, uh, but how he, he was yeah. referring to marketing to Apollo. They are not offering no, nothing. No, 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 I was... I, no, I uh, that there, wasn't what I meant. What I meant their is user interface. It's more have, difficult. Wait, wait, than, uh, uh, wait, wait. What I meant is, uh, they have actually something usable for people that's not crypto heads. What? You understand? The what? NXT. Have you ever used that in an NXT wallet? Yeah, I have. Oh. I actually seen a seven, 70 year old guy use it offshore sure. uh, this week. It's more difficult than pearls. Um, <laughs> I don't agree, man. Oh, okay. Um, let's wait. Let's wait and uh, let the Piro gods allow us to see the Piro up soon, and uh, this will be the base of what we will be working on. I think that we are one step ahead in ease of use. Uh, because uh, you don't have to download all the blocks while we have the same security basically as no tools. Uh, let's uh, wait and uh, see the first beta release and uh, have another discussion then again. Uh, we do want to bring as much ease of use uh, as possible and uh, actually for the decentralized applications. We like to have the ease of use of traditional applications while having all these benefits of being uh, decentralized. And uh, first thing that we already have in that uh, matter is that we will be able to work without MetaMask. You have all the decentralized applications inside your Piro app, and uh, this will allow you with a single point of uh, entry to access and use them pretty much like uh, traditional applications and uh, we do want to bring uh, that ease of use it's one of our main concepts actually yeah and also just to just to also point out uh, the wallet is not done obviously we're never going to stop working on it so uh, if you ever ha if, if anybody ever has any useful suggestions obviously as as fox said earlier go pop into the suggestion channel and well, drop it there because we will constantly be working on the wall. You know, that's one of those things that you never just you're done with. You know, you constantly got to be updating and tweaking. Yeah. I actually have a quick question. Um, so, as far as the wallet and the Pearl app is concerned, would the wallet be in the Pearl app, or is that like a separate entity? Yes, it's inside. Pearl app will be your everything. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the wallet is... The overall vision for the wallet is going to be the one-stop shop for everything that Pearl offers. Uh, obviously, it's not going to be that right off the bat, which is why I was saying, you know, we are never going to be truly and completely done with the wallet will always be constantly working. So there's always room for improvement. But uh, yeah, that is the, the overall goal, is to have absolutely everything 
available and accessible through the wallet at 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 least at some point in the future. <laughs> Uh, another thing that I found um, when I was using BitTube uh, is I think they have a streaming service available as well. Is that in the works as well, or in the? We have we have that technology ready, and uh, it was a really major thing for us. Uh, but uh, it's planned. It's it won't be in the first release either because it's something that uh, needs more work on. Uh, but it's actually. Uh, as well, one of uh, the things that that will be inside the package further. Okay, and um, another thing is, um, since I'm a creator on YouTube as well, how does the algorithm work as far as ranking videos, or is that just at the moment it's more of whatever is tagged is what will show up first? Uh, well, uh, you will be able to see uh, which are the most viewed videos uh, usually, uh, but uh, you know that uh, the way it works with the centralized application is uh, really different and we want to be build something that's completely decentralized uh, where you don't have uh, <clears throat> additional database that uh, the application is dependent on. So... Uh, Sorry, I, I, I've got distracted. Uh, so um, there will be such for, uh, future, but it won't be uh, as much intuitive as uh, the YouTube one. Not, not at least on the on the first go. Sounds good. Thank you. Any other question, guys? I know Miner Island asked about the new reward pools paying out nodes for bandwidth use. It, uh, I honestly don't know uh, about that one, Alan. Um, I would have to check with the devs and get back to you, but I thing yeah I'm not even going to say anything because I'm not sure so I would just be putting out bad information so uh, yeah I'll just leave it at uh, I I don't know and I will have to check with the devs and get back sorry All right. Um, see, okay, got a couple people typing now. Uh, if anybody has any more questions, please shoot them to us. Uh, if not, then uh, we will start wrapping this up. Hey, Jove8008, if you're talking, uh, you're muted. Hey, how about now? Okay, now we can hear you. Ah, uh, hey, Jove. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, so I'm, I'm really... I'm really interested in um, the utility items. So I, I know that, and I'm, I joined the call late, so y'all may have covered this. Um, and I know that the, the Pearl Tube and, and stuff is, is getting really close. How close are, are the devs, if at all, for some of the other items like Marketplace or um, the Payment Gateway or anything like that? <laughs> so far, Marketplace is uh, the next in line uh, after after the Pearl Tube, uh, 
uh, there is already uh, some uh, base uh, code uh, just to uh, let's call it proof of uh, concept and some work done uh, but uh, I think Julian uh, Master Dubs uh, mentioned uh, on the last meeting that uh, this is something that we will be looking forward uh, for maybe end of this uh, year. Uh, while Peru Tube is uh, developed, we also have an active uh, development of the messaging system, but uh, we just don't have enough uh, information right now to, to give uh, good time frames on that. Not only that, but uh, I do believe that Pearl Pay is dependent upon the uh, company finally getting fully registered and cleared and all that great stuff uh, before we can even put that into use, uh, at least legally. So, um, as, as Fox was saying uh, as well, you know, there's, there's actually been work done on, on a little bit of everything, but... Uh, can't as Master Dubs likes to to do for most of you that that know. Uh, he doesn't really like to give time frames or announce anything until it's ready. So uh, I know stuff's being worked on, but uh, I, I can't really say anything more than that. Master Dubs would not appreciate it, <laughs> and then he'd probably just change up the timetables just to. That's a big screw you to me for leaking them. So, yeah, absolutely. Uh, this is this is uh, how we operate. Uh, he did mention on the, on the last meeting, but uh, this is this is never official announcement, guys. This is uh, just to to point out that uh, that we've been working on it and uh, it's in the process. Yeah, uh, official announcements will come. Uh, obviously, they'll be made into blog posts. And uh, we'll come out on the official Twitter account. And you guys will know when official announcements are made. This is really just a community meeting uh, to go over any questions, comments, concerns, and weekly developments with uh, the community, between the team and the community. Uh, so, yeah, any time frames or anything that gets put out here should not really be taken at face value. <laughs> Stick by the official announcement channel because that will not steer you wrong. Whereas, like I said, anything that we say is really just going to be a rough guess. To Ah, okay, Rackle. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that is uh, obviously something that everybody needs to work on, uh, not just Pearl, but all of crypto. But uh, as I was saying earlier, the wallet is not done. It's never going to be just done. It, those are refinements that we will work in in the future, uh, unfortunately, as it stands, we're more concerned with making sure the stuff actually works before making it stupid simple to you. So, uh, and, and you know, that's not just us, and that's not just crypto. That's damn near everything uh, in, in the world, you know. They make it so that it works first, then they worry about making it easy to so, yes, uh, but uh, we have uh, we have a good base for that uh, because uh, Peru app is not uh, based on Mist uh, get or uh, whatever. Um, Peru Peru app is uh, built from zero, so it's uh, it's not uh, devs copying someone else. It's uh, it's us building building a thing that uh, that will be able to completely customize to our likings and further develop into being something that's uh, 
uh, not just you easy to use but uh, secure because uh, this is also something that uh, everyone should be looking into uh, we've seen lately that uh, security is a big concern in crypto and uh, this is one of the main goals as well yes i would agree you know we we do have to take calculated steps especially when it comes to tweaking the wallet because we want to be careful not to introduce any catastrophic security concerns Yes, in Mortem, this is something that we actually discussed on the last meeting, uh, and uh, this is dependent on uh, Peru being a legal entity. Uh, so far, we have uh, the Peru entity registered in Belgium, uh, as we discussed last time, uh, but uh, this is uh, just uh, to hold some uh, legal responsibility when uh, we work with exchanges and uh, so on. Further down the road, we are working uh, to have a uh, company uh, that's able to do all this uh, drill to fight exchange and uh, do it legally, of course, because uh, as Master Dub said from the last meeting, uh, the first time we actually do a conversion like that, uh, they will just uh, close the bank account. We, we already have some ideas. Uh, he said we won't mention where we're looking at, but... Uh, we have a few options and uh, our legal advisors are currently researching together with him. Now, something that recently came up, not specifically related to Pearl, but uh, apparently there's uh, prospective legislation uh, in the United States that you know might pass that would allow all financial entities basically to obtain a banking charter. What that means in plain speak is that all the US based crypto exchanges like Bittrex and uh, Coinbase and Gemini and Kraken, they would be able to get uh, legally receive banking charters from the United States government. And they would basically not have to worry about banks, you know, closing any bank accounts or anything because they would become the bank, uh, at least their own bank, you know, so they wouldn't have to worry about their exchange accounts getting shut down or anything like that. If that legislation does pass and that is something that uh, these exchanges start doing, then that will obviously make the legalities and the uh, just the whole overall project of you know uh, the whole pearl to fiat conversion and all that kind of stuff uh, would just make it orders of magnitude easier. Now, again, it's not great to pin all your hopes and dreams on any government official, especially if it's the U.S. government. So I wouldn't hold my breath for any of that stuff to happen anytime soon. But like I said, uh, there is is uh, changes happening in legislation that hopefully will make things much easier for everybody later on. Not just Pearl, but everyone. But uh, like I said, that's that's something to uh, keep an eye on at least. Uh, because, you know, all we need is just one little change in the standing legislation and it can have massive effects for Pearl. Absolutely, Sokal, thank you. And uh, I'll use the case, uh, as Noob Speak mentioned, uh, we really... Uh, thank MK for the for the job he done. This was uh, something really great for us, and uh, we love to have people like him in the community, and all of you guys, uh, to be honest. Uh, but MK really thanks a lot, man. Uh, what wh what he was doing uh, was really really great, and we really appreciate your efforts.
we should maybe fund him a mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, any other questions, comments, concerns? Hey, I had one more regarding um, just, I guess, around social media presence. So I think that, you know, I've seen the social media presence kind of slowly uptick probably over the last like six months or so. Um, but I was just curious, is it, is it, is the, is it, a, I guess, are we, are we not wanting the user base to put forth some sort of like concerted effort towards, um, I don't want to say brigading, but, you know, social media like uh, coordination in regards to, let's just say, you know, I don't know. A Twitter presence regarding retweets or likes or anything of the sort. We have such a large community, but I don't see that translate sometimes. You know, on on you know bigger bigger announcements, for example. Like I don't really see that translate from the social media standpoint. Yeah, um, I see what you're saying. Uh, unfortunately, we can't make people you know press the like and the retweet button. Uh, <laughs> I I do retweet uh, any pertinent information, obviously, from my account. Um, tends to have a bit more reach than the regular account. <laughs> but, uh, right. uh, like I said, there's just... You can't force people to interact, unfortunately. No, I, I agree, <laughs> I agree, but I just, I just think there's, like, a little bit... Like, I, like, maybe, for example, suggestion would possibly be, you know, having a... Um, a discord channel regarding those specific announcements there's just such a large discord presence right and like th this discord like probably from an ongoing day-to-day -day basis has more like participation than most anything most any other channel i've been a part of and, and i don't think these are people that wouldn't want to go do that so i know it can't force them to but I also know there's not like really a coordinated effort to to maybe try and, and do that so i didn't know if if that was just a suggestion something that could maybe be done just to kind of raise a little bit of awareness yeah, actually, you know what? That's not a bad idea. Uh, we can talk uh, talk to devs about maybe setting up some kind of bot that will, uh, you know, obviously it'll be a, a, a locked channel in that, uh, you know, no only administrators can post in there just to keep any kind of... Whoa. Who the is that? Bus miner, that's you, bus. <laughs> Mute your mic, please. Hey, Alex, don't kill us with this Russian bombs, man. Oh, Jesus, okay. He dropped out. Whew, that was terrible feedback. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, uh, that totally threw me off what I was saying. Oh, yeah, uh, a lock channel where only admins can post so that, you know, we don't have people flooding the channel, but uh, some kind of bot that can, you know, RT, uh, uh, not RT, but I mean repost tweets and such within uh, Discord. I've seen that before. Well, actually, no, not on Discord. I've seen it on Slack, but uh, it, it should be possible within Discord, because I know Discord uh, has bot support. So uh, that should be something that we can at least look into. Yes, that's a great suggestion. Anything else from anyone? Speak now, forever hold your peace. Gonna wait on Immortum typing. Great call. Nope. Okay, it's just the thanks. All right. Okay. Uh, well, thank I guess guys. that. Yep. Thank you guys for you know taking the time out of your weekend to listen to us babble. <laughs> uh, again, uh, if you guys have any questions, concerns, you know, between now and the next meeting, feel free to reach out to one of us uh, in DM or something. Uh, we're normally pretty. Uh, if anybody needs me specifically, just ding me. I won't be around much uh, for the simple fact that um, Immortem, uh, keep an eye on the announcement channel. Uh, I didn't announce it this week. Uh, I forgot to announce it yesterday, so I just kept it mainly the same date, uh, day and time as uh, the last meeting was. 
Uh, anyway, what I was saying is this next week or so, I will not be around much or very responsive since I will be traveling, like I said, going to Miami and then the, the conference. So, uh, got all that stuff to, to handle, and uh, I will update everybody probably not next meeting, I probably won't make it, but uh, the one after that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, thanks everybody for showing up. Really appreciate it. Yes, I'll be here, guys, if you'll be having any questions. If not, we're going to hold for the next meeting with the updates uh, from SoCal. Thanks, everyone, for joining, and see you next time, guys.